All right, all right. What's going on, everybody? God bless y'all on this beautiful Thursday. The Lord has allowed us to wake up and see another day. That I praise the Lord that I woke up on top of the ground and not under the ground. And I thank the Lord that I'm able to be amongst my brothers and sisters on here once again. Thank God for y'all and y'all life. I want to talk about ministry for a moment. Ministry. Because I think we have forgotten what ministry is all about. And how ministry never stops. And, you know, it's so many pastors and, and ministry leaders now that really don't have time to become acquainted with the members of the body of Christ. And then we see that there's really nobody out here that's, that's really reaching out to the lost. Now, we got a lot of folks going to church. Y'all just feel me. I'm coming from my heart this morning like I always do. We got a lot of people going to church, but we have forgotten the true meaning of ministry. And ministry is God. And ministry never stops. This is why we have to do all we can to help each other. See, the problem is that we want to spend so much time having all these programs. Nowadays, the programs are more important than reaching the lost. And a lot of churches have really lost focus on God. They really have. And I'm not trying to down nobody no kind of way in this video, but to just speak the truth. Because it's time to start going outside of your church building and start going to the highways and the byways and trying our best to reach the ones who don't know Christ. We, we, we really need to be doing this. And I, if y'all anything like me and see what I see, then I think y'all know what I'm talking about because I guarantee you all of us know somebody who's lost. But my question is, have we ever talked to them? Or are we too religious to go up to them with a weed in their mouth, a blunt in their mouth? Or we can't listen to them because they, they cuss too much or they drank too much or they horn around too much or they are homosexual or they lie too much, they steal too much, they cheat too much. But do we go after them? as members of the body of Christ? Are we doing what God has commanded us to do? That's why I say I don't see too many people that have time for the laws. These ones out here in these streets, my brothers and sisters, it's more than your own family. Now, we know some going to listen and some not, but are we even telling them about salvation? See, like church, and I'm not trying to, like I said, I'm not trying to down nobody's church. But I got to tell the truth in these videos because now church have become so much of a business and it's just becoming more business, more business, more programs, more money taken up, more mess, but no salvation. See, if we was to have a, a contest on who going to have the most church programs, a lot of churches are winning at every time. But if we have a contest on who's going to live right, whose church is really in order, Hmm. who's really preaching the true gospel, I don't think we have too many winners. And we as children of God are supposed to be trying our best to gain for the kingdom, not for us to get no glory. That's what Apostle Paul was teaching us. He was saying how he was making himself like a slave in so many ways to go after the lost so he can reach all he can for the kingdom. For God to get the glory. But like I say, we got so many programs now that the programs done became more important than ministry. Ministry never stops. And let me say this also. Ministry is about people. It is about people. But we also can see how ministry becomes very messy and it's not easy to deal with. Especially when you got to deal with Christians. Y'all will catch that in a minute. Ministry is also about dying to ourselves daily in order to reach others. See, ministry is more important than helping with a handout, but giving everything you got. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about giving all from your heart. See, it's the difference between prosperity and success. I'm going to explain that in another video. 
I, I know some of y'all felt that when I said that. Let me say that again. It's a difference between prosperity and success. But we'll do that later on. That's is what, this is why I say when you give from your heart, you have to have that compassion and the grace that God has given us. Why we don't want to? Why we don't want to be that way toward one another? I just, you know, I just ain't gonna never understand it. But well, I do understand it because the Bible told us these days was coming and that people was gonna be like that. Ministry is also about commitment. But see, a lot of people don't want to hear that word commitment. We always want to say being committed with our boyfriend and girlfriend, or I'm committed to my wife or my husband. But are we committed to God? Hmm. It's, it's sacrificing. And, and, but when you break it down, it's really just being obedient because, once again, K. Ray, obedience is better than sacrifice. And we have that hope. We have that faith. We have that love and, and so many other things that God has given us, but we are not using it. Let me say this off top again because there's too many people think this is, this is what it is about our program. Let me say something. Church is not about us or our programs, but it is about the glory of God. I know we got a million musicals. We got a whole lot of things going on now, but it amazes me because in these in these musicals now, they, they done became more of a concert. Now we got more performers than praises. Now we got more people taking up money, but we not we not dipping out no money to to help people that really need help. So really, what is a lot of people doing in these church buildings? It's about the glory of God. Let me say what I want to say. We got more programs than prayer. We got more programs than Bible study. These programs are taking over, and it's not about what all of this. Now, let me say this, too. There's nothing wrong with, with doing certain things for the church. But now all these fish fries and bake sales and, and, and bingo games, as many men say, and all of this stuff that we just keeping on the inside of the church. What's the use of taking up all this money and having these programs if we don't never help the lost or invite the lost in? But how you going to invite the lost in if you don't go after the lost to know where the lost is at? Oh, my God, I just, I just felt you, Lord. I, I understand. And sometimes it just it, it it just it makes you feel sad because every street corner that I go on when I pass by, God Almighty, it made me just think of K Ray. If if you got a chance to look at this video on her, I want y'all to see this video that K Ray did when we went to the liquor store. Yes, I said the liquor store, and how God directed us there. You know why? Because it was a lost soul on that block standing in front of the store. And most religious folks, if they would have saw us, they would have said, what is JT and K-Ray doing? Is they going to get drunk? Why are they coming out the liquor store? Why are they coming out of there? What are they doing up there? It was this man out there, Laws. It's on camera. It's on there. And I told K-Ray this the other day. I said, but just by K-Ray stepping out that car and going up to that man, that man was talking crazy. But K-Ray said one question to him. He say, man, do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? What's your point, JT? If K-Ray would have never got out of the car and asked that man, do he know Jesus, how would he ever reach that man? We haven't seen that man no more to this day, but our prayers have been with him, and we hope that he got off them streets, he got off them drugs, and that he gave his life to Christ. See, that's ministry. Going out. Giving all you got to go out. But we too busy when we see people like that. We want to, oh man, look at him. Oh, look at her. Look what she got on. She ain't nothing but a prostitute. She ain't nothing but a hoe. Oh man, look at that dude. He ain't, he ain't got no good in him. We so busy telling people they ain't got no good in them, but are we trying to see if they really do have good in them? Hmm. Are we praying for them? So once again, church is not about us and all these programs and people running around the church and jumping over pews and, and, and playing chase relay, tag teaming and, and hooping and hollering and spitting microphones, musicians jumping keys to try to keep up with the pastor. This is not ministry. This is man-made tradition. 
This is this is religion and tradition once again that have ruined our church. God Almighty, more programs than prayer. I said this in the old video. If you if you put a bulletin up and tell everybody in the community, folks, that we gonna we gonna round up everybody. Y'all excuse my voice because it's about to go out again. But we're going to round up everybody and, and take them on a field trip. We're going to go to Six Flags or somewhere where everybody like to go. You're going to have a bunch of people show up. They're going to have a bunch of people show up. But when it comes time for church, Bible study, or Sunday school, them same people won't be there. You know why? Because they just came to enjoy the fun time. But when it comes to the serious business, hmm. These programs are overriding Bible study and everything else. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying in this video because, see, ministry is not just telling people to come to church. Well, come to church. You know what I'm saying? We, we oh, my preacher, he can preach. The choir can sing. Is that what you call ministry? Just waiting on Sunday. And then you hope that they make it back next Sunday. We quick to tell people, oh, bring somebody to church. But why we ain't taking the church to them? Mm. What are we doing individually to reach others? Or are we just waiting once again on Sunday morning and calling that ministry? You know, God is never more glorified than when, when he see his servants loosen the bonds, undo the yoke, set the captives free. And break every yoke. This is a process that takes time, but we should be doing it on a daily basis. Ministry never stops. Ministry is God. I love when Jesus went out to the sinners. I wish we all could do the same thing instead of just staying inside of these so-called buildings. There's nothing wrong with going to the building. Jesus also went to the synagogues. He went to and fro, but it was, it didn't have to be no certain place for Jesus to reach somebody because you know why? He did it everywhere he went. If Jesus was to just wait on one day, a lot of folks probably wouldn't have got healed. They probably wouldn't have got prayed for. They probably wouldn't have never got blessed the way they got blessed because a lot of people are not going to make Sunday. You know why? Because some have already died. Ministry is every day. Every day the Lord allows us to wake up. We need to be glorifying God. That's why I love blog talking. And, and so many other people I hook up with during the week, like K. Ray, Minister Robinson, uh, Sean, you know, all of y'all. We don't wait on Sunday. I can't wait on Sunday. That's too far away. And plus, I know it's not promised to me. So I got to have church. Yeah, I'm talking about the real church now. Every day. Every day. So with that being said, my brothers and sisters, God bless y'all. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Peace.